Hello, Angel. Alexandra Joyce Smith here, your quantum intuitive soul guide. It's great to be here to have this conversation, this inquiry. I wanted to answer this question, which is why am I a guide versus a coach? Or why was I a coach and now I'm a guide? An intuitive quantum intuitive soul guide it starts from the recognition and remembrance of coming into this body into this iteration of self in this lifetime knowing that I had gifts of see, I could see and I could see stuff things in the space both literally um, and figuratively I could feel things in the space of the adults um, when I was a child that no one was talking about no one was discussing whether it be colors or kind of images or feelings that were present or dynamics that were present between two people like my parents um, which would culminate or result in huge arguments yet there was undercurrents of what I'm going to call energy that existed in the subtle realms before the ignition or activation of like an actual argument and I would feel the energy in the subtle realms so I'm not the only one who has this gift this medicine within to contribute my journey 30 to 40 year journey on the path of being a sacred journey woman has been about remembering and uncovering and authenticating what i came in with as a gift in this lifetime what i came in with as medicine to contribute in this lifetime yet There was no Hogwarts, if you've read Harry Potter, or, you know, there was no school for the magic or the mystery. There was no place to go, and unless that was kind of in your family dynamics, that that was supported, you know, you often, like I did, I felt kind of like a freak. So I entered the path of the sacred sacred journey woman very young in my teenage years, my awakening reckoning of getting that I'm not the conversation inside my head there's so much more that's available in life and living which is by the way in the subtle realms um, occurred when I was young and I've had quite the the windy path after that 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 initial moment of reckoning and I could tell you lots of story about all that, give you lots of my narrative. And I have, and you know, I share all that in other videos, in my courses, in my programs with the goddesses that I get to work with. Uh, But for this conversation, I want to highlight that we all come in with medicine to contribute. We all come in with gifts to contribute. Now, for a while, I thought for me, it was this thing called coaching way before it became something that kind of everybody calls themselves. <laughs> I'm a coach. I'm a coach. Uh, yeah. So it was way before then. And then when I saw the industry kind of moving and commercializing this sacred space, which is holding space for another. Uh, for another's life to blossom and depending what kind of area you like to focus on you might be a health coach a wellness coach a prosperity coach a life coach or whatever all that's great but for me what I started birthing in myself is that I've been a guide because what I do is tap into and I see someone's soul. I see a woman's soul in the subtle realm, just like I did when I was a child. I saw souls in the subtle realm. 
And that's the truth of who you are. That's the truth of who we are. We are this soul having a human experience. Someone very amazing has a quote that that says that we are soul and spirit having a human experience versus having a, hum a human experience ha looking for soul, searching for soul. You are soul. So as a guide, I'm I'm just on the path with you, having you acknowledge your soul and not just that, having you acknowledge and meet your soul, which to me means you're meeting your multi-dimensional self. You're meeting yourself as the multi-dimensional universe you are. And when you do that, you actually, by definition, start getting clear about what your medicine is, what your gifts are to contribute. And I have a particular pathway where I take goddesses through and it, it starts by discovering where your soul landed in your energy centers. And you may have heard of chakras. Many of you have, some of you haven't, but actually we come into this iter iteration of self landing a particular set of energy center chakras and those chakras inform where and what your medicine is. And they also inform, if you've seen any of my other videos or, or play that I do um, and I put out there, uh, it also informs the goddess, the, sorry, the goddess archetype that you are meant to embody in this lifetime. So guiding is a very different gig than coaching. And coaching is great for a particular time in your life. I had them, I was one. Uh, and there's a lot in that realm about supporting the getting and the seeking. My guiding is rooted in embodying having. Because even if you get the stuff, that's not necessarily going to fulfill you. And the bigger secret is it never does. None of the stuff fulfills you. And I will never guide a woman towards like an abundance workshop or a manifest worship as if that stuff that she's trying to manifest is going to fulfill her soul because your soul is the only plane the only dimension of self that when you shift into living from your soul experiences true fulfillment and that's what I'm interested in. That's what I'm committed to. That's what I'm a stand for. And I'm a stand for you embodying what your medicine, your gifts, because your medicine that you're meant to contribute are your gifts. I'm a stand for you embodying those in a way that you're contributing so that no matter what shows up in your life, you're in this massive state of wonder the wonder of it all i call it being present to the wonder because you're so in yourself you're so embodied and you're so in your what many call purpose but i call it the embodiment of your medicine so if any of this resonated please reach out to me because this conversation is greater than just a a few minutes of a video this conversation is the pursuit of your life's true purpose your life's true mission which is to get that you are the subtle realm you are your soul and you are spirit here in your body and what occurs that may show up like suffering or struggling is just your remembrance of that and inside of that, you will discover in that journey of remembrance, your medicine, your gifts. You'll dial into your intuitive self and be able to sustainably live in that place in yourself. I call it the authentic self, fueled by being your soul, not finding your soul, uh, not discovering your soul, not seeking your soul, being your soul every moment so if any of this resonated please reach out to me uh 
it's just a, a joy to bring forth as the steward of this inquiry, this conversation, this level of guiding. It is a joy to be bringing it forth through me. I've surrendered my life, my purpose to this level of contribution. So until we meet in another pathway of discovering your multidimensionality, I just am sending you so much love. <laughs>